Computer based proficiency is the path towards multimedia management of herbaria and biodiversity knowledge. A workshop was recently held to understand the software requirements to develop, maintain and manage computer based multimedia herbarium for wild floral diversity. The Center for Environment and Development at Yeshida will be initiating various action research projects for documentation of wild floral biodiversity. One of the prime areas of focus is the Western Ghats or the Sayadri Hill Ranges. Yeshida, located at Pune, on the crest of the Western Ghats, is uniquely placed to conduct such action research. Collaboration with the wildlife wing of the forest department has begun and protected areas along the Western Ghats will be the initial study areas. The multimedia herbaria will include information about the various plant parts including leaves, fruits, seeds, etc. as would be expected. However, the advantages of using computer-based multimedia, digital photography, video imagery and notes on local habitat give extremely additional values to the database. Knowledge of human impact, land use patterns, socio-economic demands on the wild flora, age-wise and habitat-specific separation vis-a-vis -vis regeneration can be documented and presented easily. The presence of forage for wild herbivora, seeds and fruits for frugivorous animals, status of self-pollinating species and similarly knowledge of phenology of local plants can be easily documented. All aspects of data can be cross-referenced. Text notes can be added. Search facility can be provided and a species identification key can be included. There can never be an end to such a study. Similarly, there can never be a single expert in this vast field of study. The Center for Environment and Development at Yeshida will try to provide the multimedia database across an open user interface through the internet by providing access through Wikipedia, YouTube and other multimedia facilities available easily on the internet. This project will allow everyone to access the multimedia herbaria, use it for research and or pure knowledge. Users could also add to the information and peer referees could edit the data inputs. Finally, the multimedia database can also be linked to a query-based GIS overlay with local maps leading up to district, state and regional maps in order to determine geographical range or comparative phenomena of similar and or dissimilar habitats or species. All in all, the multimedia herbaria is a science tool of the 21st century. It is here to stay and the sooner we learn to use it, the better for us and for science, local nature conservation and local biodiversity. Nature conservation requires partners, partners not only in science but also within local communities. Socio-economic data, information about medicinal plants, food plants, horticulturally important species, nursery management for foresters and timber species information can also be included. Further information could be made available according to user requirements. Different languages, diverse scientific proficiency, fundamental science, species diversity, biogeography and conservation information could be supported by information about use by local people. 
impact by grazing and browsing by domestic animals, need for fuel wood and use for construction of local houses. Please inform if you would like to get involved or participate or would just like to be informed of future developments. Thank you.